Okay guys, FAQ Wednesday. One of the questions we get a lot is when do I pull my tape? Now, it's about the same for counters and floors, but I'm gonna show you on a floor. It's been exactly two hours since we put down and marbleized our metallic epoxy floor. Now, you can continue to mess with the floor, spray denatured, uh, pop bubbles if they, if they show up. You can fill in fish eyes. You can still do some minor tweaks to the floor, but specifically for the tape, you want to pull the tape within about two to three hours. You want to pull the tape when the epoxy is still uh, soft enough where you can pull it uh, and it's not going to pull a bunch of strings out like Laffy Taffy, but you don't want it, you don't want it so hard where it's just going to break the tape and it's going to ruin the floor. So you want it when it's still soft. Let me, let me just show you, that'll, that'll make the most the most sense when you can actually see. So we have two layers of tape, and if I pull one, you can notice how it makes a perfect line here. It's pretty much ready to pull. So I'm just gonna pull my tape, and notice that perfect straight line. That's what you want. And this has been, again, exactly two hours. It's been exactly two hours since we did this. And I'm just gonna pull both of my rows of tape together Absolutely perfect. The other thing I want to reiterate is anytime you're going on concrete, use blue 3M painter's tape. We'll have another FAQ week probably about tape, but just as a quick reference, use the blue tape on a concrete floor. Do not use the uh, off-white standard scotch tape because it'll stick so well to the concrete floor that it'll actually continue to rip and it'll be a pain in the butt to pull up. So use this, it's strong tape, but it doesn't stick so well that you won't be able to rip it off the ground. Enjoy.